Hey guys and welcome to this little tutorial on how to set up your FSX aircraft into Dovetail Games Flight Sim World. So at first it can be a little bit complicated to set up but once you get the hang of things it's pretty easy to do and you should get a lot of your aircraft converted over if not all of them. So yeah in this tutorial I'll do the default 747-400 from FSX and let's get started. So first we'll go to Sim Objects, Airplanes and select the aircraft you want, in this case the 400 and now you want to go to your Flight Sim World directory and copy out, go over to sim objects, airplanes, and copy over your aircraft into there. And now what I want to do is open up the aircraft and open up the aircraft.config. So now what I want to do is go to this, go down to the description, I'll leave this all down below. What you want is to get these UI links here and paste them just below each aircraft you're going to do. So under every single livery you got. So I'll do it for the first four in this tutorial. Although you can do it for every single one of them. And also what you want to do is quick edit there, so see where it says texture equals 1. What you want to change the thumbnails to also match that as well. So texture dot one, dot one, dot one, dot one. Dot one. It's going to be dot two, dot two, dot two, dot two, and so on until you replace them all. Basically this is because this is what the UI will see. And when it comes to text and delivery you want, this will be the easiest way to do it. And likewise it's always for the numbers that go, and that goes to 4. So dot four, dot four, dot four, dot four. And likewise, a lot of add on aircraft don't use numbers as well, they use like the actual name of the aircraft in the um, name as well. So make sure you're using this correctly, change it all the way you can, and from there, you can now got your aircraft selected. So we want to, be able to go straight to the bottom of the config and copy these other files here. So other references, UI strings, and fuel defaults. This is also to do with the UI, basically what the simulator can see. So copy it and paste it at the bottom of the file, save that, and there you go. So now what you want to do is go back to your FSX folder and FSW folder, go to the gauges folder, and because I'm using default aircraft, you want to copy all these 737-400 gauges over. So highlight them all, copy them over, and just OK. But I've written this before, so I don't need to do it now, but any other aircraft you're doing, just copy over the gauges over, and it should work fine. And, um, well, yeah, you've now basically converted your aircraft from FSX to Flight Sim World. So you can now go to Steam. Load up the aircraft, load up the simulator, and there you go. So it should work for most add-ons, but not all of them because like encryption and so forth. But load up the simulator, and from there we can then select the aircraft and select where you're going to fly from. And this time, aircraft selection. There you go. Now got yourself into the seven four seven four hundred. So you get an error message. Just click cancel, and it'll skip all that. I'll go to config, go to liveries, and you can pick any deliveries that you've edited before. So I'll go to Pacific Airlines, that's fine. You can edit all the other stuff to go Boeing, cruise, all that kind of stuff's been set. Engine and propellers set wrong, so in this case you can edit this UI strings and other references information to fix that. Quick edit, you can change the fuel on board, you can change the fuel, passengers, payload, all that kind of stuff. And other than that, there you go. So it's Texas and Airport, Texas and Weather, so just go for Fair Weather at Heathrow. Confirm that, start flight, OK. And if everything works, it should out the aircraft quite easily. So this should work on most aircraft in the simulator. Not all of them, not all of them will be compatible for reasons. But for most of them, you'll get a basic conversion basically. And it should just about last for you. So once the simulator loads, spawn it up, show that it all works. And there you go. So the link to all the code will be in the description. You feel free to copy and paste that into the configs. And there you go. You've got yourself a few expansion aircraft as mods in the Flight Sim World early access. So there we go. Simulator is now loading. And there you go. You've got yourself a Pacific Airlines 7 so It's not 100%. So you can see it's kind of glitched the panels at the top. I can close that. So there you go. So it's not 100%, but by copying over the gauges, most of the gauges will now work. Lights will turn on just by normal, just pressing L. None of these switches will be um, clickable, unfortunately. That's something that has been broken, hasn't worked properly in the Flight Sim world. Otherwise, everything else should work as is. So, close that again. Flight surfaces work. Flaps, all that will raise and lower. Bear in mind, I'm using default aircraft, so it's the most um, in depth aircraft in the world. Increase the throttle and everything will work fine. So like I said, this isn't just by aircraft, it should work with a few um, add-on aircraft as well you've got available. And other than that, there you go. So uh, yeah, quick little tutorial video, something you guys have probably been looking for and asking for. 
and there you go hope you guys enjoyed do leave a like do subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys next time goodbye